Hello, Lolas. Well, welcome back to this channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the chatter box, girl, what? Click the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. Yes, it's just an order of fries. And you have to be at least 18 years old to join, which means, girl, what? You must be grown. Okay, so today I have a baby Phoenix, and y'all know how I feel about my baby Phoenix, so don't come for him today. <laughs> Okay, seriously, you guys. Um, I just wanted to come on mainly to tell you guys that I did put an armature in his little head. So, as you can see, he sits up so nice. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I came to tell you guys this, but I forgot to get the armature. Hold on right here. Just watch him. Make sure he don't get out of that crib because he loves to snap out that crib. Your horses. I know y'all be like, you know, you need to edit that part out. Nobody want to sit there and wait for you to finish. But I'm here, baby. I'm right back. Okay. So let me show y'all what it look like. So this is the armature, right? So anybody that did science growing up, you know, we all have like a what is it called? A vertebrae, a spine, da 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 da. So this. It bends all different types of weight. And in the chatter box, I showed it before I actually broke it even further down. And so I broke this down um, because I broke this down because I wanted to, um, oh gosh, I broke this down because I wanted to put it in the baby's um, neck. Um... Sorry, I got a text and I never get text from this person, so it threw me off. Okay, so I wanted to, I broke it down because I was, I, I was throwing it away. But then, you know, I put it in um, Zora's, in Zora's head and down into her chest. So basically, he has, there was another piece that was long enough, I felt like, that was left over. And so I put it in his head and down in his chest so about right there and up in his head a little bit and it allows his head to stand up straight and not be slumping over they are toddlers so they should be able to hold their head up so um sorry so that's that's what i was trying to accomplish there i didn't know if it was going to work or not but it did and i'm happy that it did so let me show y'all. So hang on, let me see. All right. So like I can tilt his head now. I can tilt it back. I can tilt it forward. And it doesn't take much effort anymore because he has that armature. Now I don't know how these things be working like that, but it is so cool because it literally allows their movement to be so fluid. And I really, really like that. Now, I'm going to put him in some pajamas today. Um, you guys seen Baby Joey wear these pajamas, but I'll be honest with you guys. I originally bought these jump pajamas for Phoenix. And when um, Joey came, I was just like, I'm going to put him in these pajamas because he didn't have no pajamas. Right? So, that's where we're at with that. So, I'm going to put him on these pajamas and try not to get too much into the video. But Phoenix is the limb sculpt by Bonnie Brown. He is the second time I painted this sculpt. The first sculpt that I painted named was Ryder. And he went to assist in the community. And so um, I loved Ryder so much. But I kept saying, man, I would love to have a limb in an AA skin tone. So um, Ryder was more of a very, very light biracial, you know, um, close to Caucasian color and so I really really wanted to tap into the darker skin tones with him and so that's what I did I'm gonna try to try so hard not to get into this video because y'all know how you be at home and you be having on your little um your little skanky pajamas and I don't want to be in a video with that so but I do that on clothes just that's why I don't get no ideas and get excited 
before throwing up. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, I had wanted to see him in another skin tone. And so I painted him. And Phoenix has been with me over a year. I don't know how long he's been with me, to be honest. I've never really counted. I did put my, um, my limb on a custom body I had made. It has my Miss Serena Smith signature on stitched in his, the bottom of his bo uh, body. And I did make him longer because I wanted him to be a, a bigger baby. So that's why even though um, Zora is on the same body as him, they are not quite the same size and she's smaller. But I will say that Lim has a more baby face than like um, Joey and um, Lulu. Um, so he is still younger. He's chubbier, but he's younger than Joey and Lulu. So he's still mama's baby. Um, believe it or not, <laughs> Um, I have a lot of deciding on what I'm going to do, what babies I'm going to put up for sale next or whatever. Because, you know, I'm constantly making babies, so I'm constantly making room and or... I, I, I guess I look at this like some people actually do this just to, to paint and sell. And then for me, I mainly paint for myself, but then I have to sell in order to continue to paint for myself, if that makes sense or to continue to buy from other um, artists. Um, and so, I, and it kind of works out. It's like the circle of life. It's like people support me by buying my art. I support other artists by buying their art. So we kind of just all just circle around and it works out really nicely. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. And sometimes I let go of some of my favorite babies. And, you know, like I said, I know subscribers cringe when I do that. Some of the ones that I said I would never let go of. And they end up leaving sometimes faster. Look, the tag is still on these. Um, faster than because Joy only put them on for a second and then took them off for him. Um... This is a size 3 too, by, by the way, guys. It's a size 3T that he is wearing. That's why I know I bought these for my Phoenix. I'm going to have to get over here or oh, whatever. But, but yeah. So, believe it or not, at one point I was like, wow, could I, you know, now I got these other toddlers. And I won't lie, I love the, the, the Pilau, um faces a lot. And I was like, I could, could I replace Phoenix with another Ping Lao kit? And I thought about it, but my heart just won't let him go. <laughs> um, I know the limb sculpt is not everybody's favorite, um, but I love the limb sculpt. I think Bonnie Brown is an amazing sculptor. Um, you know, such as some of the others. Um, and this, you know, Lynn was done after a, a, a real child. So I don't want to say too much and offend someone because the sculpt did look like you guys know Bonnie Brown sculpting. She she gets it dead on the head when she does those portraits. And I feel like the sculpt looked identical to the real baby. So I don't want to make any crazy comments. But I'm going to say this. He, depending on how he's painted, he he might not be the most cutest little boy to some people or little girl, however they have them. And, you know, mine as well may not appeal to, you know, other people. But I'm going to say this because I'm going to reference my own child. So I hope that it doesn't offend anyone else. But I like him because... He's, he, his proportion is right the way that Bonnie intended him to be. Now, mine is, with the body, is a little crazy. It looks a little crazy when he's just in his body, but that's not his original body. But I like 
um, the realism in her sculpting, but I like that he has a huge head because when my son was younger, he had this big old head and <laughs> I forgot what my mom, my mom used to call him Emma Fudge or something like that. But I didn't know that she was trying to be funny and saying that my baby wasn't all that cute. Um, or he was funny looking or something like that. I thought, you know, it was just a cute name for him. But she told me later. But my son is absolutely gorgeous, if I say so myself. Um, I know some, I've posted pictures every now and then when I can get a picture of him. But my son is thin as a string bean now. But he had this big old head and he used to follow me around everywhere I went. And he just, for whatever reason, Phoenix reminds me of him. Um, but yeah, my, my son was, he was such a mama's boy and he, he just, he such a loving kind, um, boy, but he was all boy. He played with toys and took things apart. And even when I didn't want to like my remote and my, uh, VCR at the time, cause you know, VCR is popular back then come in the room and all the screws are on one side and the parts are on another side. And he's like, I'm going to fix it. And he's like three years old. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, what in the world? He took a loose, like about two VCRs. I was looking for my umbrella one time. He brought it to me. He said, mommy, I know where your umbrella is at. Your umbrella is at, he said. And he come out there with this irreplaceable umbrella that was given to me by my job. And he had the metal pieces, the wires in one hand and the cloth part in the other. And I just, I, I, I couldn't even say that. And I got to work, I was so upset about it. I was telling him because it was my favorite umbrella. And they were like, oh, he's just gonna be a tech. He's gonna be, um, what did they say? He's probably gonna be like an engineer or something and all this and stuff. And I'm like, no, he's not gonna make it today if he keep taking loose my stuff. But long story short, he is very good with like uh, fixing computers, electronics, and any little gadgets and stuff like that. He's really he's really good at stuff like that to the day, and he's never went to school for it, but he's just really great at it. So I guess they had some truth to it. But anyway, so when I do Joey's personality and some of my other babies' personality, just know that I've had four grown kids, and I now have an eight-year-old. So. I have five children, so I have seen some of everything in personalities and some little things I may take from my kids, some from other kids. So um, I love it. I love to see the role play of, you know, the little active toddlers and stuff. So anyway, that is that. That is the story of my Phoenix. I hope you guys love him. I love him so much. I love it. I love that his head, it just, it makes so much of a difference, guys. It would irritate me to no end that his head would, and I kept stuffing him, and I did take some stuffing out of his chest, so his chest was all puffed out even more. It's still a little bit of puff, but not much, but it was like really puffed out, but that was because I was trying to make his head sit up, and I was just like, man, I did the same thing with Zora and it just wasn't working. So once I fixed Zora, I was like, let me see if I got another piece that's long enough. But I will say, this is like a whole skeleton. So Joey actually have the whole skeleton in him. So his arms, everything move, but you hear that? That's why you hear the clicking in dolls with the armatures, but because it's just his neck, it doesn't make that that noise I don't know why but it don't um but it comes like a skeleton like a stick two arms legs like that and I just kind of I used part of it in one toddler that I had and then I was breaking it off because it was too long and I never be knowing what I'm doing and stuff like that so I had it and I was getting ready to throw it out and then I was on a live stream and I took it back out of the um trash and don't get me, don't worry the trash that it was in it was in clothes I'm cleaning out my closet and clothes that I don't want um that I don't feel like is worthy to be donated because it's probably from picture it Sicily 1922 clothes that I've had for so long so I was I had it in that pile and um I got it out I'm just telling you the truth <laughs> I was in the live stream and then I was like I didn't throw it away because it was sitting on the chair from the live stream 
I went I don't know next morning I thought oh maybe I could put it in yeah anyway and so that's how it happened but um yeah so but you could get these I think I seen them on MacPherson website and I know I got mine from somewhere else though but I don't remember where I got this one from at the time because I, I think they were out of stock or I couldn't find them on the regular website but I know I seen them on MacPherson website so if you want to put armatures in your dolls go ahead um, me personally, I don't prefer the full armatures in my babies. Um, that's just a personal preference. I do like that Joey has the ability to do all types of movements, but I like my babies to have weight to them. And when you're doing the armatures and trying to get them to stand up, it's really hard to put weight in them and have them to be able to stand so easily without falling over and stuff. And it just it's just better without weight in my opinion um because joey's movement is is very nice and he doesn't have standing feet um joey don't so he you have to really have him in sh flat shoes i learned he does better with flat shoes on and then um his artist told me to put a little paper at the in the heel of it so he, i guess it levels out his feet because you know you have an arch and all that stuff and it makes him stand really, really well. So I love the armatures. I'm not taking away from that. It's just my personal preference with the Ping Lao kit, kits because they bend so nicely and stuff. I don't prefer them. And I wouldn't put them in a um, completely in a limb because a limb has sitting legs. And unless you got a stand, some people have changed the legs out to standing legs, then that's fine. But I don't know. Um, Lim is just not a, a standing baby. I, I don't even usually try to pretend. I think I have leaned him up against the table or something like that, but I don't know. It's just the position of his legs. He's just not for standing. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to try that, if you have a baby that had... Sometimes you could do it just with the stuffing, but for whatever reason, it just wasn't working out for me, and I just decided to do that. So, yeah. But anyway, um, let's see. So that is him. I don't know if it'll zoom in. It's like doing everything else but zooming in. Maybe it's too. I was trying to show his little teeth, but. Nope, it's not. It's not working. So anyway, well, that is that. And um. What is we doing? Okay, this is a long video. I'm gonna go see you guys later. I am almost, I'm on the home stretch of this rooting thing, guys, and y'all don't know how good it feel. So I'm trying to get it done. Bye.